Welcome all. This is Geraldine Critchley speaking. Um, we will start the call now. Um, and hopefully in the next few minutes we will have uh, the last participant signing in. Um, thank you for being on time. It's always good to start um, on spot. So today we will start off with introducing you to the company Securo Sys. Um, we will uh, move over then to introduce you to the ITO pre-sale and uh, certain specifics about the token sale. Uh, you will be guided through these details from uh, Securus CEO Robert Roggenmoser. Um, we have time for questions at the end of the presentation so um, I just want to make sure right now at the beginning that you can hear us all right, that the audio is fine, if you can quickly raise a hand in your terminal on the screen, you can see raise a hand so that we know that you have, uh, uh, you, that you can hear us well enough um, and no audio issues. Um, we would then start the presentation. Okay. I don't see any hands raised, so I expect that you can hear us. Otherwise, just send us a, a chat message if anything happens and you can't hear us anymore. Okay, over to Robert. Hello, everybody, or uh, for everybody from Europe, good morning. And those uh, people joining us from uh, Asia, good afternoon or almost good evening. Um, my name is Robert Rogenmoser. I'm uh, the CEO of Securosys and also one of the co-founders of Securosys. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about uh, Securosys, the company, our products, how do you can secure crypto assets. And in the end, I will go a little to share you a little bit, tell you a little bit more about the STO, the ICO we're doing, which is really a security token offering. trying to flip the page. So <clears throat> here is a quick overview of uh, our customers. Um, you see there, is, there are many banks. Um, there are also um, non-bank customers like our Swiss Emmy yogurt producer that does a PKI. Our focus is in, in uh, banking, financial, financial customers, but we're moving into more different customers. Uh, in particular, we are actually growing quite a bit in crypto assets uh, and blockchain. And one of our big partners that we could actually announce already is Crypto Storage AG. What is Securisys? Um, <clears throat> Securisys, we actually focus on delivering you something you can trust in, something that's the best solution possible and uh, really optimized for what you want to do. Um, we say it's military grade security because actually we base it on, uh, we could buy some IP to build our uh, systems on top of it. Um, and what's really important for us, we actually developed and produce everything in Switzerland. So meaning we're designing it here in Switzerland and we manufacture here in Switzerland. That way we have a full control about our supply chain. Switzerland is an independent neutral country. We have no three letter, uh, agencies that force us to do something we don't want to do so we can guarantee you that our equipment has no back doors the company is already four and a half years old uh, my co-founder andreas kuriger and i did founded the company in april 2014 it's owned by us and a group of independent swiss investors and our employees also have also a share in the company we are uh, in zurich switzerland uh, in the swiss financial center of course. And uh, in August, we just opened our first subsidiary and that was in Germany to serve the European market. Currently, Securities has about 20 employees and we have five open positions. So if you're in Zurich, Switzerland and looking for a job, please check out our website uh, www.securacis.ch slash career. <clears throat> Why do we have that many customers? That's essentially because uh, we were chosen to deliver our product, our hardware security module to the Swiss interbank clearing system. This is essentially the whole banking, that's the system that connects all banks in Switzerland and all money transactions go across in Switzerland. So 
any bank that's in Switzerland is attached to the system and anybody who does a payment, their payment goes through this system. Um, it's operated by SIX, which is uh, one of the biggest service providers, financial service providers in, in the world. And it's supervised by the Swiss National Bank. This is essentially the Swiss Fed that oversees everything. In this system, we have 100 billion uh, for US dollars or Swiss francs. Actually, today, the, the exchange rate is just one to one. Uh, we have over 100 billion Swiss francs that can get transacted uh, over this system every day. <clears throat> the good thing for us is that uh, SIX want to, us, uh, uh, want to make a long-term relationship with us, and we have a 10-year um, uh, main uh, agreement to work with them. Quickly about the management team in Securosys, who is behind Securosys. So on the left, you see myself. Uh, um, I've been uh, came out of uh, from Switzerland, uh, did my PhD in, at ETH Zurich, uh, and uh, went straight to Silicon Valley. Worked there uh, at Intel, Cyber, at Broadcom, uh, designing microprocessors, and worked in other smaller and bigger companies. My co-founder is Andreas Kuriger. Um, he is. Uh, did his PhD also at ETH Zurich. Uh, he did a short stint in Dallas at Dallas Semiconductor designing cryptographic chips and then went on to uh, Omnisec where he was head of engineering there. He's really the cryptographic brain. He knows cryptograph cryptography in and out and uh, knows all these details. Our first employee was Marcel Dasen. He's our VP of engineering now and he has uh, a lot of experience designing electronics uh, for, for complicated systems. Then uh, completing our uh, management team is Reto Stäuble. He's responsible for services and, and business development. Christian, Chris Wilmer, he's uh, responsible for sales. And you heard her already, Geraldine Critchley. She, she's our new head of marketing, just joined us in, in April. Now, I already heard we're, we're building an HSM. What is an HSM? So let me give you the short explanation on this. HSM actually stands for Hardware Security Module. That means it's a box, it's hardware. It's designed to generate cryptographic keys securely. It's designed to actually hold and store these cryptographic keys. You don't let the keys out and you control who can access them. And on top of that, it supports all the different cryptographic algorithms. So, <clears throat> and the whole box is built that you cannot steal anything out of it. If, if uh, you try to get in, it actually uh, erases the keys. So you never have one HSM, you always run a cluster of HSMs at different sites to provide the security and the availability and the redundancy for your keys. We are not the only company building an HSM. There is other companies out there, and uh, the biggest ones are Thales and Gemalto. They are currently buying each other, so they are quite busy with that operation. We did a little survey earlier this year and uh, found out that uh, people really trust us. Uh, we, we have a very good product that can be easily used. Um, what we lack of, and that's really a reason why we're doing our STO, is we're lacking in international distribution. We're really strong in Switzerland, and that's it. And we are lacking in marketing. That's why we hired Geraldine. So these things we want to change. We want to go international. That's one of the reasons for the ICO. So let's move to um, a topic that probably a lot of you are very interested in. It's secure storage of crypto assets. So. <clears throat> How, how are people keeping their crypto assets secure? Um, really, a lot of people started out uh, uh, in the Bitcoin world doing it themselves. You know, so they they generated their public and private key. They they made an address out of the public key and stored it, the private key, somewhere on the computer. Now, this is uh, probably the most insecure method that's out there because there is so much, so many malware out there that really tries to find these key files and steal it from you. Uh, another option is uh, you print it out on a piece of paper and uh, secure it that way and have stored that piece of paper with the private key somewhere securely. Now, you have to think about it because a modern printer is a network device and has memory. And very often 
the manufacturer can access that printer, if the manufacturer can access that printer and that memory, um, many other people can too. So it's also not a very secure method because they can get your keys. Um, you could use a USB stick and uh, the, the most uh, elaborate procedure I heard uh, on a podcast, podcast uh, is that uh, a hedge fund actually uh, would store the key of a customer in, in a USB stick, um, uh, pack it in bubble wrap and put some nail polish on it to make sure if the seal is broken, they know somebody took the key. <clears throat> now, all these things are kind of cute and uh, Really, if, if you don't have a lot of money in, uh, in, in, in crypto, then it, it might work. It's, it's, you might lose a few hundred bucks and so on. However, just think about it. You're, you have a customer and the customer has a, a couple of thousand Bitcoins and you tell him, look at this USB key here. We securely store your, your money. That's really not how it should work. So that's why we actually uh, uh, expanded the functionality of our HSMs. And here you see a picture of three HSM to actually deal and securely store uh, crypto assets. <clears throat> so the, the box uh, is, is a 19-inch, two-unit high uh, uh, network security device. Um, we call it Securacy Primus, Primus HSM. Um, the advantage is uh, if, you have, if you're actually not just doing it for yourself, if you're actually doing it as a custodian, as a bank, as an exchange, and have thousands, ten thousands, or hundred thousands, or millions of customers, you can actually store uh, up to a couple million keys in, in one of these boxes. So um, it's the box is actually uh, gives you the security and scalability and redundancy. So as I said earlier, you have a cluster. You actually never have just all the boxes in one site. You actually put the box in several sites and the boxes can synchronize amongst each other and exchange, uh, share the keys to make sure if one side goes down, you still have your keys available on the other side. That way you can actually build a system that has hot storage and we call it not cold storage, but secure storage um, uh, avail readily available. The quick access is really an important feature because uh, a lot of people do cold storage and put it somewhere in the safe and it takes two days to get to your funds. Uh, I think that's going back, to, you think that's going back to the uh, stone age. You really want to actually have something that's much quicker available. Now the availability is, is a, a really difficult thing. You know, if you think about it, whoever can access your key can actually do a, a transaction. So you really want to have a system on top of it that uh, makes sure um, that not a single person can use the keys, especially when you think you're a bank and have to provide the service. You want to have a multi-signature capability. So you can actually set up something that uh, any transaction has to be signed by two people. And we have this system actually built on top of it. We have a patent pending for this. And the HSM, our box, will verify that the multi-signatures or whatever rules you, imp you want to implement are uh, are uh, are kept and and uh, then only transaction is is out and is or is is issued. Um, we're working with many partners that are building systems like this. The one that has announced a solution and has uh, everything available and you can buy now is Crypto Storage AG. Uh, it's uh, one of the companies in the group of crypto finance. So I showed you one picture of a box here, uh, and this is our our product lineup here. We see uh, we have different different HSMs. We have uh, more economical versions, the Prem Premise E series, and we have the Primus X series that are really the high performance, higher availability ones. Now, you can run these boxes by yourself, or uh, if you don't like to do that, we have a cloud HSM solution where you can actually we operate the boxes for you and you uh, manage the keys there. And uh, just to complete the picture, we also have uh, other products, we call them network encryptors. That's essentially when you want to connect two sites and encrypt between those sites. So this is kind of a quick overview of about uh, uh, our products, uh, what security does and our management team. Now let's move to the STO. And I show you a little bit uh, what we um, do with our a security token offering. So the token is called SET, <laughs> short for security. Securities token, it's an ERC20 token. The hard cap is a little 
bit over 3 million uh, 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 tokens. The price per token is five Swiss francs, which today is pretty much five dollars. And uh, the, I mean, the ticket size go from five <coughs> five thousand up. We have different discount levels, and I'll show you this on, on uh, another another chart. And uh, the lockup periods uh, are different for bigger investments that have bigger uh, discounts. The lockup is much longer, up to six months. In this uh, in this round, we actually uh, of all the tokens that we generate, we we sell sixty five percent of those tokens. That sixty five percent corresponds to the hard cap of three million token. Five percent is uh, issued for uh, paying for the ITO cost, and thirty percent are reserved uh, for the team and securities. So twenty two percent really is a reserve that we uh, view as a second a next round in, in a couple of years and it's locked for three years and eight percent is uh, going to be incentive uh, tokens for our team why is it a security token what is a security token how do we understand that so the set token actually has dividend rights and it can be exchanged in company shares to do that we already um, conditionally issued uh, uh, additional shares in the company and all our tokens correspond to 25% of the shares of Securities. So whenever you like to uh, uh, exchange your tokens into shares, you can just uh, tell us that, send us the tokens and we are going to issue the shares. Um, there is pros and cons with, with shares versus tokens. If you have tokens, you will stay liquid. The shares really there is no market for the shares it's, we're still a private company so you have no more you cannot trade it anymore however you can actually um, you get the, if you have enough shares you get actually voting rights so the whole thing is uh, the the tokens are securities so we actually going to issue them under the uh, Swiss security law we have a prospectus that we're going to uh, Publish as soon as the token sale starts. And finally, here is a, a quick uh, overview of the discounts. Um, the private sale is currently ongoing, and for tickets for 500,000 or a million US dollars or Swiss francs, the discounts are quite nice 25% to 30%. However, you have a six month lockup, you cannot sell the tokens during that time. Um, the public sale is currently targeted to start on uh, November 6. We had uh, originally planned to start on November 1, but we have a technical issue at the, at the ICO platform and we want to have everything tested and, and streamlined before we start the public sale. So currently it's stay, uh, targeted for Tuesday, November 6, and we are pretty sure we can hold that date. Uh, you see that there's three stages. In the first stage, you have a, a higher discounts, and the discounts go down to the, uh, the final stage um, when it's um, smaller. So this is uh, what I wanted to tell you about Securisys. You know, um, you have to, you saw something about our products, our hardware security modules, Primus hardware security module. Um, you saw the, how we can protect crypto assets. Our focus is really not on the individual level, although if you have a lot of Bitcoins, you might actually use that, that solution too for, for individual people. Um, but it's really targeted for the enterprises, for custodians, for somebody who has uh, lots of accounts and lots of websites. And finally, here was a quick overview of our uh, security token offering. You find more information uh, um, and more details what we want to do on our website, I, uh, <coughs> it's HTTPS uh, uh, ICO.Securosys.ch. There you can also register for the token sale. And uh, of course, uh, there is a white paper to download and uh, you can follow us. Uh, we're on Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit, and uh, we have a quite a nice uh, blog series on Medium that gives you some background stories, how we came up with this, how we did the internal discussions and how we interact with people and service providers. Some fun, fun facts that you can see there. We are not on Telegram. Um, we actually decided to uh, use uh, 
these other mediums, Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit, and Medium. Okay, that's it. And I would like to open now the, the mic for uh, any questions from your side. Just unmute yourself and uh, uh, shoot. Yes, hello there. Can you hear me? Yes, hi. Yes, hi there. Um, I don't know your company that well. So how, how do you bill? I mean, is, is your revenue like a SaaS type of model? Do people buy DH, uh, the hardware security model uh, uh, once and it's a one-off payment? Uh, can you give us any ideas of your, of your revenue and your, and your numbers? And have you ever paid a dividend already? Okay, so uh, the, fur the, 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 the last question is the easiest. No, we have not paid a, a dividend ever. Um, and we're a grow, grow, uh, growth company, so we're not planning on paying dividends uh, in the near, near future in the next, over the next years. We want to invest the money to grow the company. So our revenue in 2017 was 4.7 million Swiss francs. We had an EBITDA of 1.1 million. Our, our business model is, is kind of, um, you can see it that way, that we, we sell boxes. Uh, so that's a, a sale there. And with the sale, <coughs> we sell a, a maintenance and support license uh, as a contract. This is about 20% of the sales price. So, and people, uh, have to buy these uh, uh, maintenance support contracts to actually get all the the, the new uh, uh, new versions of our our software and so on. With the clouds HSM solution, you know, um, you don't buy boxes. You actually get the, the service and just have a monthly fee for for uh, using the clouds HSM. So in that case, we operate the HSM. You just have a it's like a platform as a service model. You said, sorry, you said to, to sign up for the ICO, we have to go on, on, your, on the website ICO, teacher assist, and, and fill in the, and follow what's written there, correct? Yes, uh, the website is. All right, thank it's you. It's ico.securosys.ch. Yes, um, the, 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 it's, it's the exchange rate from tokens into company shares, you know, so the, we have a, a something over um, in, if you look at the whole ico we, we're going to make uh, something over four million uh, tokens and th three million of those are being sold in this ico as i told said earlier and we have something about uh, something over forty thousand shares reserved for this ico so the exchange rate is 100 tokens into one company share the, 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 the nominal value is just a, a Swiss thing that the share has to have a nominal value. So that's, uh, that doesn't mean anything. So we have, for example, chocolate companies that their share price is 100,000 Swiss francs and their nominal value is, is one Swiss franc. So there is maybe um, um, a question here about uh, our when we want to get on the exchange. Since we're a security token, we need a security exchange, and several several companies are working on getting an, a license for a security exchange. Whenever that happens, we will actually be listed on the exchange. Before that, it's uh, uh, any any trades have to be over the counter. I mean, person to person or through uh, decentralized exchanges, if that's possible. Okay. So uh, Samir had another question. You asked about um, the cost of one device for personal use. Do we have a, a, a price if if uh, you would want to buy the uh, the HSM for personal use? Is there a, a, um, a price? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the, that's why I said it's more an enterprise grade solution. So. Um, uh, for personal use, it's you know the if you build a system based on like uh, let's say uh, two or three uh, of our smallest HSMs, e, uh, an E20, and have a, a remote control unit to actually manage these devices, you're quickly up to uh, twenty to twenty-five thousand uh, euros in that range. Okay, so I hope uh, that we answer. Okay, thanks, Samir, for your feedback in the chat. Um, I think uh, we'll end the meeting in a minute here. Please see on the slides the info at the courses, email address, and and uh, 
write to us. You can you have my direct email as well. Please don't hesitate to just contact me via phone, email, or LinkedIn. You can find me there. If you have any more questions, um, we'll be very keen to answer them. Visit our, our website, the ico.securosys.ch website. Also look into the Medium blog series. It's a quite interesting read on how um, ICOs or in specific, of course, our ICO has started and um, it elaborates a bit more on the strategy of the company and why we are doing this. Um, and further to this, if we are, if you are in Asia traveling or you are visiting Singapore um, or Switzerland in the next few months, um, we are at events uh, across several countries. So just have a look on the website on which uh, which events. Uh, the next big event will be in Singapore on the November 12th at the FinTech Festival. It's a very um, large exhibition. Uh, will be in Hall 2, uh, right next to the blockchain micro stage. Contact us if you would like to have an in-depth view of the devices or a, a, a demo. Um, maybe also spread the word. It will be really great. Um, and we really hope to hear back from you.